can't come to the phone right now for obvious reasons. <laughs> but if you leave a message, baby, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Wait for the woo and the beep. Woo! YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Never fail, look at Jace here. Back with another nigga review. Today I bring you a pickup that I got last Saturday on Sneakers app and did try to get them on Foot Locker through the Flex app at Champs, but was unsuccessful. Feel like it should have been able to hit. Uh, a lot of people always do, but I don't know, just here is still the same. I'm wondering if they're at the mall by me. Everybody's always confident around here. Um, a lot of places I see uh, people post up things that are not available here. They're all gone, everything's gone. As, uh, like I said, every mall in New Jersey, just about, and Pennsylvania have consignment shops. And so, people buying to uh, hold on to then resell later. So, that's the whole thing going on around here a lot. But, does, stuff does sit. But, um, but yeah, uh, it's usually gone. And everybody's trying for something. So, anyway. Uh, luckily, I was able to hit on sneakers app, like I said, and so they arrived here Wednesday, yesterday, the 18th, today, the 19th, and um, yeah, just uh, happy to have these in hand. And you got your nice special box. I love this touch, true blue with Nike and the swoosh and white, giving a nice contrast there. Love that touch there. 1985 Air Jordan One. You know, and then over here you get your tag, your Jordan 1 Retro High OG DZ 5485410 True Blue White Cement Gray, made in China. And you got your stamp action going on right there. Little smooth there. White tissue paper, crazy, and IDM sticker there. The cement gray on these is not like um, the, the, the black cements that I have uh, then compared to the um, fire reds or anything, but um, and that's the gray that's on like the, the upper sock liners and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I know it's the true blue um, theme, it's themed after, but you know, they're just using the cement. Uh, gray as just to throw it out there but it's it's um it's not the same it's previous color of this cement gray they said and so so here they are Woo! yes <laughs> got the air jordan one true blue finally I've been waiting for a while for these man it's super clean starting out with your outsole you got your cement gray rubber outsole Nike branding, pivot point, star action, white midsole, got that white stitching. The upper is all leather, smooth leather, and towards the heel, it is in what I believe is um, going with new book, but I mean, it could possibly be a Dura book. I don't know. It's very. It uh, doesn't have no backstroke. It does feel very nice, but I'm leaning towards the door buck. Um, so, also the, the swoosh here doesn't feel the same as going around the eye stays and the mud guard toe tip area. This blue feels a little, little different. I don't know. So, and I've seen that with other uh, Air Jordan ones where they, they, I don't know, it feels like they're skimping here. They throw in this um, other kind of leather there. It matches up well they paint it and just throw that on there so but um but yeah you got your um blue on the toe tip going towards your mud guard i stay area there your air jordan wings logos in that true blue as well you have true blue laces you got perforations on the vamp there white leather white on the side panel and up under the under collar there same thing in the medial white nylon tongue you have blue tag true blue tag nike air lettering and your swoosh there or registered trademarks you got the whole spiel thing going on there and made in china white back of the tongue true blue sock liner here additional set of laces here 
and I'll show you that white insole and Nike Air in that true blue there and you got extra set of white laces here you got this whole move to zero thing going on right there using a uh, cardboard instead of plastic to put the um, shoelaces in so there you have it there um, so as far as these uh, I rate these an eight nice clean simple colorway you know cannot go wrong and um, gonna show you really quick a couple sneakers if you're wondering how close it is to the storm blue here they are let's compare these so it's really close but you can see the difference but if you're wanting these and um, you're like man I don't know how long I gotta wait before these come back out get these instead for now and then you you know you get these later as these probably get the 85 cut done or the reimagined you know the way they're going you know and or patent leather because now they got those variations they did the bread patent leather they did the reimagine uh, for the chicago's and um they got the 85 cut so they just stay you know milking it you know that's what they're doing they're trying to get that that money they're trying to get as much money as they can um so we got this sneaker here and it is the same color block now the only thing is it is the mocha and it has a sale on the upper so that's what makes these a little bit more appealing to people and you know but um it's the same color block uh, how bad did i want these as bad as these the only thing was i had to pay resale for these um the demand was crazy it is what it is at times and we were still going to deal with shipping delays and stuff and, uh, going on with the whole um, pandemic had just started that year and whatnot so um yeah same thing same color block just blue and this has gray well this is black and this has brown the mocha brown um, the outsole could have been a blue, but they went with the gray, so nice little change up. And I get you an up close look. You can see the midsole. You be able to see that sail, sail on the tongue as well. And here, the leather and everything there. So, and got the whole glitter action going on here as the. Thing will let you know in time if you got authentics or not so yeah and we got the uh the 85 um little features that they added to these so um the one is the emboss nike air jordan wings logo same with the 85 cut and the bigger swoosh they added the bigger swoosh there it has um, a different toe box though, as you can see. Toe box is a little bit different. This one's got more of an angle, it slopes. This one comes up just a little bit. Um, the other difference that they still have with the 85 is uh, the tongue. As you can see, the leather comes up a little bit higher here between the second and third eye stay, while this one stays at the first one and that creates the tongue to be at a higher spot than normal. See, see how high that is over? Well, this one just comes up like that. That's it. Nothing crazy, just that little bit. And, you know, the heel action, it is close. The height and the leather and everything. Everything's pretty good there, as you can see. But uh, this one comes up straighter, while this one still goes in just slightly. You know, as it is not uh, the exact, but it do, they did say that it does take a little bit of the inspiration from the 85. It's more of an 85 than previous ones. So we're in another uh, addition, if you will, of the Air Jordan One. Um, the padding 
it's noticeable too it's very thin compared to the 85 you could feel it it's a little bit more uh thicker uh firmer padding so that that's what you're gonna get as well you're you don't have the uh the size and the date that it was made you know you just got your regular insole uh, sock liner with no print and date on that so but um but yeah i really like these love how they came out and you know oh yeah this is a different uh color blue but like if you're wondering where it's at here it is um, but yeah i think they did a great job um and you know make these an eight that's it so um yeah super happy to have these um yeah i'm excited uh to see how many more Air Jordan ones they're gonna be doing with the 85 or is this like here to stay the new um, embossed wings logo the bigger size swoosh you know started out last year with the lost and found you know so they're they're trying they, they're doing little things so whoever's up there is trying to look out for you know people that want to stick to the OGs but at the end of the day we know the, uh, the Lost and Founds are going to get a true 85 cut like this down the road. They're going to release uh, another regular version without the distressed aged look. So those are two more future Air Jordan 1 releases. Then we got the um, uh, Into the Spider-Verse uh, with all this crazy paneling going on. Um, another Chicago rendition. So you figure there's three coming out and uh, whatnot. And you got to figure they're going to do a restock. Hopefully, you know you hit if you haven't hit yet so but um but yeah youtube just wanted to bring you this video and um yeah i'm very happy with these and they're available right now you know you're looking for them. great job jordan brand and it's your boy logan j and i'm signing out peace